In early April 2010, the Solar Impulse airplane, known as HBSIA, made its first full test flight. The flight was more than five years in the making and was preceded by copious amounts of testing, including taxiing at high and low speeds, as well as the first takeoff, which occurred in late 2009. Test pilot Marcus Scherdel took the plane on its maiden hour-and-a-half-long voyage in front of a crowd of more than 1,000 spectators in western Switzerland. It took a team of more than 70 people and 80 partners six years of work to build and test the carbon fiber airplane that boasts a 63.4 meter wingspan comparable to that of an Airbus A340 and a weight of 1,600 kilograms, which is similar to that of an average car. Solar Impulse was built around a skeleton made of carbon fiber honeycomb composite using a sandwich structure. The undersides of the wings are covered with flexible film and the upper surfaces with a skin of encapsulated solar cells. Solar Impulse includes close to 12,130 micron monocrystalline silicon solar cells built into its wing and body. They supply four 10 horsepower electric motors with energy and charge 400 kilograms of lithium polymer batteries that allow the aircraft to fly at night. The aircraft's onboard computing system gathers and analyzes hundreds of flight management parameters, which are used by both the pilot and ground crew to make decisions and provide the motors with optimal power supply under any given flight and battery conditions. Solar Impulse boasts a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour and a maximum altitude of 8,500 meters. The aircraft is expected to undertake its first extended duration flight in the coming months. With this project profile, I'm Graham Jesmer for RenewableEnergyWorld.com.